Chris, what's the level of satisfaction in your first start with the new team to have that type of performance? Yeah, it's good to get off the, on the right foot. Um, but it's a long year, so um, yeah, it's just it is what it is. Buck described you as someone out on the mound who has a great imagination with your pitches. What, what do you think he meant by that? How would you describe what you're able to do out there? Yeah, um, I think I'm pretty damn good at reading someone's swing and just trying to toy with that. Um, I know I'm not the most power pitcher kind of thing, so I just I try to keep everyone off balance. So I just try to add a pitch almost every year. Um, so far, it's kind of worked. You came back from 3-0 to strike out Soto in that first strike out of the night. Just what was your approach on that? I don't care who you are. I'm coming after you. I mean, I faced Otani a lot. I faced Trout a lot. Um, I I don't care the name on the back of your jersey. I'm coming. Um, that's been my mentality no matter who I face. Um, I know he's probably the best hitter in the world, but I don't, I don't care. Who are those people out there? They seem pretty happy for you. Yeah, I got a lot of friends and family that are pretty excited. I'm on a different team. So. <laughs> <laughs> Be, being on the West Coast for so long and being from the East Coast, we got uh, those 10 o'clock starts weren't great. Yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah, my friends and family are here. One of them was saying some very complimentary things of you. You what? He was just being very complimentary. Oh, yeah. yeah. In an R-rated way. Or PG-13. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, the R-rated is probably... <laughs> <laughs> he told us we could go on the record. Yeah. <laughs>